Lamar Odom reflects on purchasing a Khloe Kardashian lookalike sex doll, it's a little off. In a candid and somewhat controversial revelation, former NBA star Lamar Odom discussed his decision to purchase a custom sex doll resembling his ex-wife, Khloe Kardashian, during a recent appearance on the We're Out of Time podcast. The 45-year-old retired athlete, who was married to Kardashian from 2009 to 2016, acknowledged the peculiarity of his choice, admitting, it's sick, but I think we're all a little off, a little weird. Odom shared that the doll is currently in production and will be designed to look like Kardashian, stating, they're gonna make it to look like her. I need, like, harem. His comments have sparked a wave of reactions, as fans and critics alike grapple with the implications of such an intimate decision. The conversation took a deeper turn when host Richard Tate questioned the significance of the doll in Odom's life, particularly regarding its impact on his mental health. A sex doll that looks like your wife is about mental health. Tate inquired, to which Odom replied, for me, it would be. This statement raises questions about the role of such objects in coping with past relationships and emotional struggles, reflecting a complex intersection of intimacy, nostalgia, and mental well-being. While discussing his current relationship with Kardashian, Odom revealed that they do not communicate regularly, citing, life, as the reason for their distance. However, he expressed a sense of mutual care, stating, I don't speak to her, but she cares about me. He added that he could reach out via text, and she would respond, suggesting a lingering connection despite their separation. The discussion of Odom's doll purchase comes shortly after his manager, Gina Rodriguez, confirmed to TMZ that he visited the real doll sex toy facility in Las Vegas to place the order. Odom reportedly requested a doll with voluptuous curves and facial features reminiscent of Kardashian, indicating a desire for a highly personalized experience. Rodriguez noted that Odom was excited about the prospect, emphasizing that he felt he could do whatever he wants with her sexually comment that further complicates the conversation around consent, intimacy, and the objectification of relationships. Kardashian and Odom's tumultuous history is well documented, marked by both passionate moments and significant challenges. The couple met in 2009 and married just one month later, but their relationship faced severe strains due to Odom's struggles with addiction and infidelity. Kardashian filed for divorce in 2013, a process that was further complicated by Odom's near-fatal drug overdose in 2015. Since their split, Kardashian has navigated her own romantic life, most notably her relationship with NBA player Tristan Thompson, which ended in 2021 amid allegations of infidelity. Odom's recent comments and actions have reignited discussions about the complexities of past relationships and the ways in which individuals cope with loss and nostalgia. The purchase of a look-alike doll can be seen as an attempt to hold onto a piece of the past or perhaps a misguided effort to reclaim a sense of intimacy that has been lost. As the conversation around Odom's choice continues, it raises broader questions about the nature of relationships in the public eye, the impact of celebrity culture on personal lives, and the ways that individuals find solace or connection in unconventional ways. While Odom's journey has been fraught with difficulty, his reflections on this latest chapter highlight the ongoing struggle for healing and understanding in the aftermath of love and loss. As fans and followers watch this story unfold, the intersection of fame, love, and personal struggle remains a captivating narrative, reminding us all of the complexities inherent in human relationships.